Hi, this is Peter from URC and we're here to talk about HDA audio. Our flagship amplifier is our HDA 8100. This unit can do up to eight stereo zones of audio or up to 16 mono zones of audio or any combination thereof. Each amplifier channel drives up to 100 watts per channel into 8 ohms. It drives up to 200 watts per channel into 4 ohms. Each amplifier channel is stable down to 2.7 ohms. So that's a lot of power, even if you're running a mono zone. You can take any stereo zone, split it into two fully independent mono zones. Now you think about different rooms of your house that you don't necessarily need a stereo sound, like maybe a dining room or a hallway or a master bath or something. So this unit becomes very flexible. It has eight analog RCA inputs. It also has a coaxial digital input that accepts all digital formats up to Dolby Digital 5.1 in DTS 5.1, and it will down mix any of those signals into a two channel signal that can be sent to your entire house to, to other HD amplifiers without losing any channel information. We also have little brother, the HDA 4100. It's basically half of an HDA 8100. Um, it has four stereo zones. It can also be set to do eight mono zones or any combination thereof. The amplifier rating is exactly the same as the HDA 8100. 100 watts into eight ohms, 200 watts into four ohms, and it's also stable down to 2.7 ohms. So you're gonna get one of the highest quality amplifiers on the market with concert quality audio and zero latency. That's the other thing. Because we stream all of our content from amplifier to amplifier over the network, there is nearly zero latency, no matter how many zones there are in your residential installation. We do up to 32 zones of audio. We also have our HGA IO. This is our kind of like a Swiss Army knife device that allows you to integrate other companies' home theater amplifiers with HDA. Plug this into an input of your home theater device, your home theater receiver, and it will be able to stream any, play any input that's connected to any of the HDA amplifiers through the home theater. Our smallest amplifier, going from the largest amplifier to the smallest one, is our HDA 130. This amplifier is a small amplifier about the same size as three CD jewel cases stacked on top of each other. This amplifier does 30 watts times two, two channel outputs in the eight ohms. Uh, the nice thing about this amplifier is that it can be powered with standard 48 volt power adapter that we supply, or it can be powered with PoE plus or PoE plus plus coming from your switch or router. So it truly is a one cable solution. Uh, one Cat5 will be able to deliver all the streaming audio through the smaller HDA 130, but also all the command and control and all the power. It's perfect for sitting behind a television that has a subwoofer output, so you can actually drive a, a powered sub with it as well to give you a, a nice entertainment experience. And it sits on the network with all of our other HDA amplifiers, and it stores WAV files like all of the larger amplifiers. All of the feature sets are all built into that small amplifier the same way that they're built into the HDA 8100. We like to talk about with HDA audio is that it's flexible enough for residential, but it's also designed from day one to also go into commercial. Um, different products we have, we have, for example, our HDA 1600. This is our commercial amplifier. It's a 70 volt amplifier, but it's also a low Z amplifier. So it can drive both eight ohm, four ohm speakers and 70 volt speakers. And it can do it simultaneously. There's two speaker outputs. Each speaker output can automatically detect whether it's driving a four ohm, eight ohm speaker or a 70 volt speaker. So there's no setup and no worry about any kind of damage being done to the amplifier based on what speaker you connect to it. Unbalanced RCA inputs. This amplifier, the HDA1600, also has a balanced analog input, but that balanced analog input could also be used for two microphones. Two microphones that can be used for different paging events, different ducking, different announcements you would normally have in a commercial environment. Um, all of these inputs do signal sensing. So when the, the inputs, including the microphone inputs, sense signal, they can switch over to the microphone, play the announcement, the microphone announcement, and then go back to the audio that was playing in the zone. So as an example, Smith party of four, your table is ready. Smith party of four, your table is ready. And then at the end of the announcement, the music comes back up and you know, the zone is playing exactly like, like it was before the announcement. Any one of the sound files stored in any one of the amplifiers, they each store up to 10, can be streamed and shared with any of our other amplifiers in the system. 
fitness center is one example. We also have uh, people that use this in like commercial uh, restaurants, different types of sports bars. And you can have, for example, if they want half price appetizers. It's time for half price appetizers. Now until 2 a.m., choose from seven delicious appetizers you know and love, but for half the cost. There's no going wrong with these late night snacks. Make the late nights great nights every night at Tito's. So there's a fictional restaurant named Tito's. Every night at nine o'clock, it plays the half-price half appetizer commercial, and then people flock to the bar and get their appetizers. Uh, it's all, all, all automatically streamed from any HDA amplifier to any other HDA amplifier in the system. Uh, within our software, these sound files can be set to be triggered at a specific time, uh, hourly intervals, or manually, like I'm doing it here through our user interface. Our specials in the fitness center promotion was in a module called the announcements module. And within this module, all of the different sound files that you have programmed into the, stored into the HD amplifiers appear here, where you can manually trigger a sound effect whenever you want. Okay, so back to sound files here in a commercial environment. We're talking sports bar. We're talking people watching the home team. We're talking people watching baseball, football, maybe even hockey. So let's say it's a hockey town. Hometown hockey team scores. <laughs> Want to get everybody excited for the big game coming up. Maybe you want to play the college fight song. Maybe you want to play something more generic to get everybody into the event. Game's about to begin. Let's get everybody ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to go. This can be very useful for a sports bar where they want to trigger a sound if the home team scores or get the crowd fired up for the next quarter of football. Uh, we also have modules that are built in to HDA to allow you to easily control all aspects of your commercial installation. So this module right here is called the volume mixer module. This gives you a flattened out view of all the different zones in the commercial installation, what their volumes are set to, what input they're selected to, and whether they're on or off. This gives you basically your own little dashboard where in the past you'd have to have an external DSP controller to do all this. We built the DSP right into the HGA amplifiers. So let's talk about the HGA zone DSP. For every zone of an HGA amplifier, there's a full-blown DSP that gives you the ability to contour the sound of the zone you're listening to. The zone DSP is very advanced and it's included on all the HGA models. So for example, for a zone in an HDA amp, you can set a high pass or low pass filter. This allows you to correct for rooms that are either too bright sounding or too dull sounding, or even driving a powered subwoofer. Each zone also has active bass, treble, bass boost, treble boost EQs that you can set inside of our software to give the, the room more of a, a bassy sound or more of a treble sound. A lot of it's based on the building materials in the room and the type of speakers you're using. Also, each zone has a five band parametric EQ. This is true if you're using stereo zones or mono zones, it doesn't matter. So with the five band parametric EQ for the zone, you get selectable frequency, selectable gain, and selectable frequency width, which is also known as Q. So that can be set in our software for each one of the HDA zones. So that wraps it up for URC and HDA audio. For more information, visit our website, urc-automation.com.